the process is part of life. We can only learn. Like, we can only be better and do better for ourselves and do better for other people. That is what I try to hold on to, because there is so much hate in the world. I went to culinary school in Montreal. I was there for five years. I have had industry experience in restaurants, catering companies, food startups. The industry is intense. The hours are long. Everyone's treated like robots, and it's just not the type of creative energy that was fulfilling. They just, like, throw you an entire tray of frozen calamari to defrost and clean and I just didn't want that type of energy around me anymore. In August of 2019, that's when um, I had my first Monty's dinner. It was only me cooking. Uh, service in here would be 12 people tops. I cooked everything, prepped, cleaned. I had either my partner read serving or I would hire somebody. It was just like a surprise sort of date night dinner experience. It was just such a beautiful union of everything that I've been working towards and like everything that I've been wanting to exercise in terms of my creative ability. And I want people to be able to feel what I put into it by eating my food, and that's all I ever want. In March of 2020, I was actually thinking about expanding Monty's out of my house. I had a few more dinners lined up. I believe it was a Thursday right before lockdown, and everyone was hoarding toilet paper. At that point, I, I was just like, okay, I don't know how long this is gonna last. We'll see what these two weeks look like. I can take a little bit of a break and just like gather myself and figure out my next few steps. And then it turned out to be much longer than expected, as we all know. I just pivoted. I know that's a word that everyone's using, but I pivoted hard. I did so many different things. <laughs> I had meal deliveries. I did like Monty's merch, made candles, and that's sort of what led into Dump the Hate a little bit. During that time, that's when a lot of the videos were surfacing on the internet. It's just heartbreaking because People who look like my parents and my grandparents are the ones being pushed to the ground, are the ones being smashed in the head. I can't comprehend it, I don't understand it, but I know that a lot of people want to be able to blame other people for what's going on right now, and I just felt a lot of rage inside. I felt like I needed to do something. March of 2021, it was a couple days before the Atlanta shooting, but I had posted Dump the Hate after reaching out to a friend who drew a graphic for me that I ended up posting on Instagram. And it was just a call out to make and sell dumplings to your close community and your friends and family that were in your COVID bubble and to raise money to be able to give back to the Asian community um, that was helping to fight against anti-Asian hate and racism. At that point, I didn't think it would spread as much as it did. I was hoping maybe to raise a couple hundred dollars after each weekend, we'd reach like $5,000, $10,000, and then it kept growing. And at this point, I think we've raised over $103,000 for the Asian community. I had no real expectations for it, and it was just really amazing to watch it grow. Mm -hmm. 
COVID has unraveled so much and there has been so much internal work through Monty's, through Dump the Hate especially, because I was able to reflect on a lot of the shame and guilt that I would put on myself for being different and being who I am and that turning into I am proud of who I am and my journey and nobody's perfect. We can only learn, like we can only be better and do better for ourselves and do better for other people. And like that is what I try to hold on to because there is so much hate in the world. But by supporting the community, I felt more a part of the community. Like knowing that I was able to bring people together and have conversations about this was really incredible and I am super proud of that. It's been really nice knowing that my parents have also watched this grow. My dad reposted a video that came out about the initiative and was literally just like, I'm so proud of my daughter. And that, that meant a lot. A lot is uncertain right now. What Monty's was is no longer, but I feel like I have more of a story to tell now than ever before. I want to be able to show parts of myself in the food that I make, in the dishes I make, and to be able to share those stories with other people, to bring people together is like what I've realized is the most important.